If you have a high ticket offer, whether it's a course or a coaching program, and you want more customers and clients, listen up, because I'm going to be giving you the best formula for success. Watch the entire video because you're about to learn the exact funnel that you need, the exact ads that you need, and basically how to run your offers so that they get more efficient and profitable over time rather than just fizzling out. At this point, my agency and I have scaled hundreds, and I do literally mean hundreds of high ticket offers, including our own YouTube ads high ticket course over seven figures. And these are going to be the patterns that we've discovered running ads and scaling these offers. And you are going to be getting all of those secrets. And I want to stress that none of this stuff is really that complicated. In fact, it's super simple. It can be broken down into three simple steps, which are one, get traffic two educate that traffic about your offer. And then three, convert that traffic. It's that simple. And all you're going to need to do is actually go ahead and implement everything I'm about to show you in this video. Now you probably clicked on this video because you're already sold on high ticket products. As a business owner, I think they're pretty awesome as well. You don't have to deal with as many headaches. The customers are better. And ultimately you are getting better results for your customers at this price point. But what you've probably noticed is that selling high ticket is a lot more difficult than selling low ticket. And the obvious reason for this is because, well, there's a lot less impulse buying when it comes to high ticket products and people take high ticket products a lot more seriously. So how do you overcome this? Come here. The secret to selling high ticket online is being able to generate enough trust and authority. Let me reiterate that. If you are able to build trust and authority quickly, you'll win every time. With high ticket, a potential customer isn't going to buy from you unless they think you are competent. So you need to convey to the potential customers that you are a authority and an expert in whatever niche that you operate in. You also need to build massive trust. Your potential customers need to believe in your product without a shadow of doubt that it will work for them. Again, we're talking about high ticket here. If you were selling some low ticket drop shipping thing from China, trust doesn't matter as much, but you need to convince potential clients on the fact that you're not only just going to run away with their money, but also deliver on all of your promises. And like I said, you need to accomplish those two things incredibly quickly because let's face it, attention spans are so short these days. You have such a small window before another shiny new high ticket offer pops up or your potential customer literally just gets distracted and forgets about your offer. So how do you, a high ticket offer owner, accomplish all of this? Well, you do what all the other successful high ticket offer owners have done. From running hundreds of high ticket offers, the only ones that I've seen accomplish this time time in time out are the ones that do this one particular thing, which is use video assets in the middle of their funnel. So if we take our very basic three step funnel formula, if the first step is traffic, the second step has to be some sort of video asset or video platform. This can be things like VSLs, video sales letters, webinars, you know, hero landing pages with video. I've even seen some people direct traffic into their organic YouTube channels. And the reason this works is because video right now is probably the best way to build massive trust and authority with your potential customers. Additionally, right now, video is also the most efficient way to educate your potential customers about your offer. Your potential customers get to put a face to an offer, which inherently builds trust. You also get to leverage technology, meaning you can record one piece of video asset once that can reach to thousands of people and can be played over and over again. So since we have the middle portion of our basic three-step funnel formula figured out, let's take a step backwards and talk about the first block, which is going to be traffic. And the type of ads that work best with high ticket offers are going to be bar none YouTube in-stream ads. I'm not talking about the, you know, graphic ads that you see on the YouTube page. I'm talking about the video ads that interrupt you while you're watching other YouTube videos. And why do these specific type of ads work the best? Well, unlike Instagram or Facebook, people on YouTube are already consuming long form videos. And if the second step in your funnel is some sort of long form video asset, having the first step be a long form video kind of just makes sense. You're going from long form video to long form video. Now, here's what most people get wrong about YouTube ads. Most people try and set up ads to sell their offers. What they're trying to do is make the ad do all of the heavy lifting of the second step in the funnel. Your YouTube ads job is not to convince people on your offer. All your YouTube ad is trying to do is convince people to watch step two of your funnel all the way through. And if you make that little distinction within your ads, you're totally going to win. Now, I will say with any funnel, you're never going to have 100% of the people that click on your ad to watch step two of your funnel. There's always going to be some sort of drop off. You know, someone could totally be in love with your ad and even your offer, but maybe life gets in the way. Maybe they have to go pick up their kid from school while they're watching your VSL. At some point, people are going to drop off. And that is why a ton of high ticket offers will collect emails and run remarketing ads. A lot of high ticket offers will use these efforts to try and get people back into 
the funnel who have dropped off or fallen off. Especially with high ticket, people need multiple interactions with your brand before they purchase something. So remarketing ads, email newsletters, email notifications, heck, even YouTube channels are an easy way to achieve that. Now, in order to go from good to great, you're gonna wanna do this one thing that the top level high ticket offer owners are doing and implement it in your funnels. When you first start running traffic, you're obviously gonna have to go out there and test a whole bunch of different ads to figure out what sort of marketing messages your audience responds to. For example, let's say you have a high ticket offer that is teaching people how to make money online and you test out a bunch of different ads with a bunch of different marketing messages. Some of them could actually focus on the actual amount you might be making online. Some might focus on the location freedom that you get from making money online. Some might focus on the time freedom. Some might say focus on not working for somebody else and running your own business. Again, different marketing messages for the same exact product. And once you go through this testing phase, you'll quickly figure out that one or two of these marketing messages will stand out above the rest. Here's what most people do. So they'll find that winning marketing message and say, oh, I found my marketing message. Let me go and make more ads that are similar to this specific. However, the people with great offers, not only do they make more ads with the same marketing messages, they actually go back to the rest of their funnel and video assets and update them with the winning marketing message. It's this iterative process of constantly testing ads and updating your offer and funnel that produces long-term winners. Now let's talk about step number three, which is conversions, which honestly, I think most people overcomplicate. And the reason for this is because if you've done your job in step one and two of the funnel, step three should be an absolute breeze. And I'm not kidding about that. Nowadays, I even hear of high ticket offer owners literally just sending a Stripe link in a DM and converting people that way. It really doesn't have to be that complicated. However, the two most common steps that we see in the conversion phase are going to be converting and closing people either on a sales page or through a sales call. You might be wondering which one is going to be better for your particular offer. And honestly, the answer depends. If your high ticket offer is under the $2,000 price point and you already have a ton of reviews, a ton of case studies, and people already know about your offer, you can probably just get away with a simple sales page. If your high ticket offer is somewhat expensive, let's say north of $5,000, then probably sales calls are going to convert better. At this higher price point, more trust is required to make the sale. And having a sales rep who answers calls really helps with that. Also at this high price point, a lot of times people want a lot of their questions and concerns addressed by someone one-on-one. -on -one. I will say if you are somebody that's first starting out with high ticket products and high ticket offers, it might be super beneficial for you to jump on the call because you can really get on there and figure out exactly what sort of pain points your potential customers might have. And then also address any last minute concerns that they may have. Now you're probably thinking, wow, that all sounds great, but where do I start? What I recommend is that you watch this video right here.